Welcome to the Firewalls.com video on how to renew a WatchGuard subscription service. In this video, I'll uh, demonstrate uh, the different steps on how to do that. Uh, with the first being how to purchase the subscription service, um, then how to apply the license key uh, that you receive from that purchase to your WatchGuard account, and also how to uh, apply that to Firebox in this in this case. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the My Products page. Uh, we're going to go straight there by going to myproducts.watchcard.com slash manage hyphen products. Now if you're not logged in already, you'll be prompted to log in with your WatchCard account. Go ahead and log in. And then you'll be taken to the Manage Product page. If you just logged in and didn't go straight here, you can also get there hovering over My Watch Guard once you're logged in and go into Manage Products. Okay, once you're here, you're gonna select the product category. Uh, in this case, we're gonna do Network Security and click View Products. And then we will select uh, which product under Network Security we're working with. In this case, we're gonna Fireboxes. So Firebox is already selected for us. Okay, next you'll want to click on the friendly name of the product that you want to renew. You see there's a link there. You'll click that. Once you're on the product details page for the product you want to renew, um, you should see a link that says find a partner. Um, if you don't have one, it'll be under something around the lines of your, your total security suite license has expired or something similar. Um, you'll either click find a partner or you can contact us at firewalls.com or your reseller uh, to, to purchase a subscription service uh, for the product needed renewal. So this is just an easy way of seeing what products need renewed and then you can go in here to uh, confirm that to make your purchase. Okay, and once you purchase your subscription service, you'll receive a license key. Um, and that's like kind of your confirmation that the purchase is complete. So you'll need to activate that license key that you'll get. If you're already logged in, you can hover over My Watch Card and go to Activate Products. Or you can, you can go straight to myproducts.watchcard.com forward slash activate. Once you're here, um, you'll log in if you're not already logged in, and you'll go ahead and enter your license key that you received here. Um, it does include uh, hyphens, so make sure you include those hyphens, um, and then you'll click next. All right, on the step two, on the next page, after entering your license key, um, you'll want to select the device um, that you want renewed from the drop-down list, and then you'll click activate once you confirm you selected the right device. All right, and once you've activated that license key on that product, um, you get sent to the retrieve and apply key page. Um, at that point, you can um, you can get a local copy of the feature key. And you can copy the contents of the feature key to a text file and save it in a convenient location. You may use that later go into how to apply the feature key to your firebox. Then you'll click finish. All right, now that you've activated your feature key to the device that you're renewing, uh, we can now log into the firebox um, to upload the feature key or we can uh, have the firebox automatically download the feature key with the WatchGuard website using synchronization which is recommended. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to connect to our Firebox uh, with the web UI and log in. Okay, and once you're logged in, you'll go ahead and go to System and then Feature Key. And you can go ahead and click this lock to make changes and then you'll go ahead and scroll down. And 
For automatic feature key synchronization, you want to make sure that this option is selected. Um, when you select this, it will check for automatic downloads immediately when you save this, um, as well as every 12 hours um, for, for syncing the feature key, um, as well as when you upgrade or downgrade the OS, this uh, feature key will sync as well. If you need to manually update the feature key that you got earlier, you can do that here. Um, if you're not using automatic synchronization, um, you go ahead and hit up, update feature key. And then from that text file that you saved earlier, you want to open it, copy all of the contents. You're going to paste that into this box and then you'll click OK. And it will automatically apply after you hit OK. And you will see um, the update expiration date and the time left. And that's it. You've now purchased a subscription service renewal. Um, I showed you how to look for expired devices in your account or expired products in your account. Um, that way you can determine what needs renewed. Um, I showed you how to um, apply the license key that you receive after purchase to your account. And then I've showed you how to manually add that fire key to the firebox once activated. And I've also showed you how to automatically synchronize um, the feature key with the WatchCard website. So that's it for this video. Pretty easy, quick. Um, but I think it's important to talk about this just because it's more than just purchasing a subscription service. There is multiple steps involved with making sure it's applied to the right products and getting um, updated on the appliance so that way the subscription services are active and working for you. Thank you for your time and stay tuned for more videos. So that's it for this video. Make sure you leave us more comments and questions. Also make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out firewalls.com.